Stephen. Welcome to the Alan Osborne Show. It's the 24th of June, and Lord have mercy. Look, we're having a fireside chat with Mikey. Mikey, what you got in your mouth? Are you burning one? Yeah, it looks like he's kicked back. See, Mikey's ready to leave office. He's done enough, hasn't he? Hasn't he done all he could do? I mean, he's had plenty of chance. He's empire built from hell. So let me ask you, why would the why would a police sheriff, a police type force guy, why would he want to be in charge of all the fire department? Why can't firemen be firemen? You know, in the military, we never had the police force in charge of the fire department and vice versa. Why did this happen? All this came about under Mikey. Even the county used to have the jail. It still does. Or they gave it back to uh, Mikey. They didn't used to have it. And therein lies the problem. So, so, hey, listen, if you're new out there to the Alan Osborne Show, or you're just now watching it, or somebody forwarded this to you from some Facebook page, here's what you do. Especially if you're new to the county, or you're just new to my show. You go to YouTube to the Alan Osborne Show. And, when you, and then you go to view that channel and, you, and subscribe to it and you'll get all of them. But more importantly, go to that channel and hit view the videos. And you can scroll down through the last couple of years. And if you do that, it'll be cheaper than you ordering something on Netflix or something like that. And you'll get to know the players of what's going on in your county. And you'll hear the truth. And it, it'll, it'll sound like some kind of crap on... Uh, a romantic Netflix, Netflix or crap you can't believe. It'll it'll sound like some reality show, except it'll be for real. And I'll tell you, go back there and look. Look up the sheriff and Corey Godwin a couple years ago. Those couple videos. But like I said, if you're new to it, doesn't cost anything to subscribe. I don't get paid. I don't ask them to pay me for advertisement, even when we get thousands of views. So just go back there and subscribe to it, and you'll get... Hey, we like to welcome Tracy Boss. Tracy, I understand that you're a new subscriber to the Alan Osborne Show, but I don't got no panties you can sniff. So I don't... But I hope you enjoy the show. You and, you and Corey and some of the other people, y'all can sit around and hold hands. Maybe with some of the leadership of the Sheriff's Department. I'm putting in some public records requests for the budget and some other things. And because I'm running for sheriff, I think I need to, I hope they give them to Mr. Murray, too. Are you going to let us look at what you're doing, Mikey, or we get to, or are you going to hide behind the badge? Mikey, did you did you ever fess up that, that your car was unlocked when you lost your weapon? Wasn't that the, in the report? You think you could address that issue? And could you address the Chaz Galloway emails? You really need to go listen to Mike talk about hiring Corey Godwin for the jail. And to listen how arrogant he is when he's asked if the job was advertised. And Mike says, why would I advertise it when I knew who I was going to hire? Yeah, he knew because he rewrote the job for him. The guy wasn't even qualified as an officer anymore. And listen to Mike talk about how lucky he was to find such a highly qualified guy in his back door. What are you talking about? He's one of his best friends. Not only did he hire Corey... He fired Tammy Godwin, and we understand, Mikey, won't you clear it up? Was it credit card abuse? And then you hired her back? Man, I don't know. And now she's got the credit card again, right? And she's running all them kind of programs for you? I don't know. Folks, if you're new to the county, does this even seem right? You go watch these shows. And look, I'm just a retired military veteran. You know, I'm just wanting the Constitution fair. I just want the, the playing field to be level, but we'll talk about the things that Mikey hadn't done. One of them, he didn't secure his own weapon. Mikey, did you discharge your weapon accidentally uh, and behind some deputies? Were you even qualified? Mikey, tell us all why you don't take the standards, physical fitness standards test, and why you hired people who couldn't pass them, like Graham Fountain. Military guys out there, do you think somebody should be in charge who can't meet the standards that are expected of those appointed below them? I don't. And this man hadn't for several years. So anyway, we weren't even talking about Mikey, but here we are. I mean, Mikey, get another hit off that what's in your mouth there. And, and just think about it. Just think about you retired and you having to watch people dig through the records to find out what you've done. So, but like I said, if you're a new viewer, please go back and subscribe to my channels. Go back, watch that show, 
sit back, kick back, have a drink, ask yourself, do they pass the smell test? And I hope it makes you chuckle if it doesn't do anything else. So let's go on to other things like other candidates like Lucky Chucky Wilder. I'm just going to leave Mikey's picture up here because I'm so fond of this picture. This, this this is so fitting to Mike. Just kick back, you know. You know what I'm saying? He, he knows it all. So Chuck Wilder. Well, Chuck Wilder, the reason Mikey's up here is Chuck used to work for the Sheriff's Department in IT. Now, something interesting about Chuck, Chuck, and you can dispel this rumor, didn't you start an internet company where you offered deals to teachers and stuff? And didn't you take their money and promise to give it back to them once the company failed? Did you not get, did you make any of them payments, Chuck? Did you? And if you didn't pay all that money back, how much was it? I bet you didn't investigate it. Oh, oh, Mike used to be your boss. Isn't Mike supporting you for county commissioner? Isn't he part of the reason that, folks, Mike doesn't need three commissioners on the county commission that would ask him about his budget. That would be a bad thing. So Tony and, Tony and Boots, and do y'all really need somebody else who's associated with the sheriff's department? Because that's Chuck Wilder. Do we need somebody else from the Atkinson Sheriff's Department or related to the Atkinson Sheriff's Department or who worked under the Atkinson Sheriff's Department? Do we need them in government? And do we need Mike's cousin Clay as the, as the attorney for every municipality? No, you can't make this shit up. That's the interesting thing about Chuck and Mikey and the internet company and his relation. But even better is that, that Mikey didn't investigate Chaz. You know Chaz, who gives you all the wonderful John Walton stuff and everything else. He fakes my name, fakes everybody else's name. He used the county seal after they said you couldn't do that. And if you see not, Mikey, why don't you just admit that all them naked pictures that were in that porn that was put on the county uh, computer that you know Chaz put it on there. And that doesn't it got pictures of some goblins in there. Isn't that why you didn't investigate it? Hey, but good news, Chuck Wilder claims Chaz. So if you're not a fan of Chaz, you probably shouldn't be a fan of Chuck because Chuck and Chaz are thick as thieves. What a saying. It's just a saying, you know, but I like it. Anyway, that's just things that are on my mind. Something else you ought to talk about, too, is the thing with Tony Anderson. Now, look, people. Hey, Mikey. Do you know if those texts between Trey and Tony are real? We're still waiting on... Now, I understand Trey has denied them, and Tony hasn't said anything. And Tony's got people out there trying to defend them, but we need to hear the story from Tony. Tony, did you receive those racial texts, and did Trey Nick send them? You know, did y'all see that Indian land that was up on the BCC? That Remember... This is somebody who wants us to buy it back for millions. We gave them to them for $100 to preserve it. They transferred it to somebody else. Same people. It's 501C. Now they want to sell it back to the county. But is it part of Sandestin? I don't know. Clay won't let us talk about it. it would it put Sandestin out of compliance? And how was anybody supposed... If that area was open in recreation sp space and it was fenced off to all the people in the development order... How in the world was that an integrated community? How is that open space and recreational area being used if it's fenced off from everybody? Does that pass the smell test? Hey, something else. You know, Tony Anderson's all up in this. Now, Danny Glidewell, the question for you is, is your wife related part of the tribe? And Tony Anderson, the question for you is, back when Ella Mae Walters, I believe, got fired from the county, What's is she? What's her relation to where she lives to you or some land you own? And you know what I'm getting at, don't you, Tony? Ella Mae Walters was let go from the county for fraud. I've been sent some information that it appears that she may be involved with the uh, the Muscogee Indian Tribe 501C. That's not a tribe and not a nation. I mean, if you've been keeping up with my show, Tony, what's your position on that? You remember when? Matt Carper and them were upset with Quinn. It was Tony involved in all that to save them. And who is saving Matt Carpenter now? Stan, what are you doing about Matt Carpenter? He lost his license for fraud. Why is he in charge of anything in this county? Maybe Mikey should, you know, Mikey won't investigate those kind of white-collar crimes. 
Mikey, did you ever answer about the party house or where your kids at? These are questions inquiring minds want to know. It's damn sure something to Alan Osborne show. Alan for sheriff, Mikey. Let's go talk about these issues. Let's go talk about how you hired somebody that's your buddy who needed a job. And let's talk about where Mr. Godwin is now. So think about that. Corey wasn't in law enforcement. He was selling license plate taxes for years and years. And suddenly he left the Walton County office. And if you want to know why, just go ask or go watch the videos. But see if while Rhonda let him go. I don't think there was no love lost there. And why did he leave a job close to home to go take the same job in Panama City? And Mikey came to save him. As Mikey says in that show, I knew who I was going to hire. Damn right, because Mikey had promised Corey that years ago. And he got him in there just long enough that Corey could go to... Now Corey's working for the Sheriff's Association, teaching everybody in the state about being an expert on jails. And if you go watch my two shows, you'll know that this is a bunch of BS. It just is. So, try if you listen, if you've got some information on stuff that Mikey hadn't done while he's sheriff, or he has done while he's sheriff, that he shouldn't have, you just send it to the Alan Osborne Show, and we'll talk about it. I'll wait, and when we come out there, and we, are you going to debate Aaron Murray if you won't debate me, Mikey? Look, folks, you have a choice when it comes to this stuff. you got a choice between Tony Anderson, who's on for developers. All you people in the South End, remember when Tony gave your infrastructure plat fees away to fix the golf course that his son owned land on? That is that your commissioner? He didn't vote on it, but he sure relinquished those funds because they didn't have a plan without your plat fees, South End. And don't you think our infrastructure was too overloaded for Tony to be turning over money so people could play subsidized golf and, and drink subsidized alcohol? These are things that weigh on my mind. I don't know on the Alan Osborne show. But you've got to get out there and think about these things. There's a lot of things to think about. But it's time for a change. If you're new to Walton County and you don't think that, that as Mike says, there's only about 20... 20 of these good old names in Walton County. <laughs> no, Mike, there's a lot of Americans in Walton County that know you're doing it wrong. There's a lot of your deputies know you're doing it. If you're out there being a good deputy and know you've got bad leadership, know that there's people out here trying to give you better leadership like myself or Mr. Murray. I mean, you don't have to go far. It, it wasn't any surprise that Corey Godwin came out so hard and be, well, let me be the first to thank Mike. Yeah, Corey, yeah, we know how you thank him. We know how they got that job. But anyway, Mike, do you have both eyes in? It looks like you've only got one. I don't know. You just can't make this stuff up on the Alan Osborne Show, but we're going to start digging into it. Like I said, if you know stuff on this, why don't you call Lucky Chucky Wilder and ask him about that. Ask him about his tax liens. Ask him about Chaz Galloway and, how, and why he thinks Chaz Galloway is sliced bread. Ask, ask him about his time at the sheriff's department. Ask him about the internet company and stuff like that. I mean, these are things I'd want to ask Mikey about the whole Godwin process and ask him how come. Uh, hey, Tracy, I thank you for I said thank you for subscribing. Ask him how Tracy kept his job. I don't know how that. Ask him how. Aren't you related to old, uh, your up and coming superstar? Cosin, isn't he a relative of yours? <laughs> Can y'all smell a smell a, a problem? You know, nepotism. If it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Just a hint from the Alan Osborne show. And that's the way it is on <laughs> June 24th, 2024. And the things that make you go, hmm, these are things that make me go, hmm, Hmm, do we need a new sheriff? Hell, it could be me. <laughs> and that's the way it was, because you can't make this up. You look, you got to keep him straight. Does this man look like he can keep himself straight? No, no. He's kicked back on your tax dollar. That's right. And Mikey, make sure y'all turn the budget stuff and turn over those public records to me. I wouldn't want you to try to take a disadvantage to win this election by just not giving the other candidates the same information that you have access to. Hey, you reckon one of your captains could give us a tour of all the sheriff's facilities? So 
so one of the future sheriffs so me and murray could see what we're going to inherit anyway one of us will i think you're a lot less popular than you think you are mikey that's just what i think but we'll see either way it's good isn't it, in america to be out here running for election it's a good thing <laughs> And that's the way it was on Alan Osborne. So you can't make this stuff up. You can't make this shit up. It ought to be a screenplay. Somebody call me from Hollywood because all this stuff's true. And ain't nothing funnier than true stuff. I mean, that's why we watch clips on the internet of stupid people. Because watching people be stupid, that'll always be funny. But watching bad government go on, that'll never be funny to a good American. And let's do something about it on August 20th. Get out there and vote and put these people out. Till next time, I'm Alan Osborne. See you next time.